Congrats, coach. Thank you very much. You guys want box scores? I have some if you'd like them. Sure. You do good work, coach. We're joined now by Kansas head coach Bill Self, student athletes David McCormick, Christian Brown, and Ochai Abaji. We'll ask coach to open things up with a statement, then we'll take questions for student athletes and for coach. Well, I, I think that uh, uh, we came out ready to play, and uh, it was kind of a little bit of reversal, not near to the extent, but a reversal of 18, in that we really couldn't do much wrong there early, and we caught a few breaks and built the lead, and then. You know, you knew Villanova would make a run, and, and then we just kind of held on and responded. But I thought we played great. I thought we were disciplined defensively. I thought we stayed down on shot fakes basically for 40 minutes. And, and uh, uh, with the exception of defending the arc, I, th I thought that we just played terrific. We're going to go front and center for our first question here this evening. Shea Wildeboard, JayhawksLand.com. David, can you just talk about your performance tonight? You got going early, and it seemed to open things up for the guys. And was that the plan going in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just talking with Coach, he, he wanted us to have an inside presence. And uh, usually if you can play inside out, it opens up more shots, more driving lanes, um, a lot of cuts. And I think uh, starting off early on, it opened the rest of the floor up. And uh, we played off of that and it made it easy. Next question is going to come from the right side. Jeff. Jeff Goodman. Bill, Dave's kind of been up and down at times in, in his career in this season. What's it been like to stick with him and, and see the type of performance that he had for you tonight? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't look at it that way, Jeff, at all, sticking with him. He was our guy from the jump. And, and uh, you know, I, th I think so much of a performance maybe has to do with things that the media and the public doesn't know about, and primarily health. And, uh, uh, you know, see how much this guy sacrificed just to be out there every day. You know, he may do two to three hours of treatment every day just so he can be out there. So. There was never a question of, of who our guy was. And I think, he, I think he knew that too, no matter how frustrated maybe at times I could get. Uh, uh, but but uh, he's our guy. And, you know, I've said all along, he's the one guy on our team that can get, you know, 15 and 10 uh, 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 just by being a presence. And tonight he got 25 and 9. So he, he, was, he was fabulous. The next question is going to stick in on that right side, third row. Matt. Matt Tate, Lawrence Journal World. Ochai, first possession tonight. It looked like you wanted the lob. They didn't throw it, and, and I wonder then how relaxed were you in that moment because then you just calmly floated to the three-point line, smooth jumper, looked like an open gym type of situation. How, how relaxed were you tonight after that? Um, you know, just in warm-ups and everything, um, having all the shoot-arounds, all the, everything leading up to the game, just, just felt relaxed. Um, everyone on our team did. Uh, relaxed but still confident and ready to attack the game. Um, obviously, that, that, that play was open there, but uh, just kept moving off the ball, and, and obviously my teammates were finding me tonight. We're going to stay on the right side and go to the second row, Billy. Uh, Ochai, can you just maybe reflect a little bit on just when you were a freshman and came, you know, came to Kansas and kind of got used to, you know, just even observing in your redshirt year of just what this was all about, of what it's like to have this, you know, go to go from there to having this kind of mm -hmm. night tonight. Um, just I think the expectations um, coming in my freshman year. Um, getting getting bounced out the the, the, the second round, um, just just seeing those expectations, you know, from the year before when they made it to the final four. Um, that's that's how it is here, and you know, we we like like we always say, we come to Kansas for for the games like this, and then games like Monday. So um, just a just a, a a great career here. Um, you know, I couldn't ask for better. Oh, my role. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, you know, obviously my role's changed over the years. Um, I came in just kind of being a, a contributor, a uh, guy off the bench, um, and then I ended up, you know, earning my starting role. And then as the years went by, uh, my scoring, um, you know, was, was, more, was more needed uh, on the teams. And then this year, obviously, uh, just to step up and be that man. We're going to go up front on the right side, Zach. Zach Boyer, Lawrence Journal World. Uh, Christian, uh, you had the, the three as the shot clock expired late. You had the runner just before that and the other three after it. You know, how were you feeling at that point? What's going through your mind as you see the, the clock coming down and the ball coming from Dewan? And then I guess for Bill, too, I mean, how, how big was he going to close us out? Uh, yeah, just uh, it was late shot clock, uh, and I had to hit one before that. Uh, so it really had nothing to lose, honestly. I uh, just threw one out there, and it went in. Uh, but, I mean, I told Juan right before that, you know, if he, if he gets, uh, if it breaks down, 
that I'll hit it. Um, so it was a big shot. Um, but uh, these guys, you know, told me all game, just, you know, keep your confidence, keep shooting. Um, and they'll fall. And everybody tells me that. Coach always tells me that. Um, so I was confident in those shots. To the left side of the room, just to the right of the aisle. Raise your hand, please. Thank you. Mick Schaefer, KSHB. Uh, Bill, it seems like in these big games, a lot of times it's the opponent shooting great, and Villanova shot great tonight. Can you remember the last time you guys shot this well, especially from behind the arc in, in, in a big game? You know, I, I don't remember us. I mean, did we go 13 or 24 maybe against K-State? Uh, 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 but we, we, just shot it, we just shot it so well. And, you know, I, I think the guys like shooting in this building, to be honest, just because uh, the depth perception doesn't seem like it's, it's – different even though it is and the rims are pretty soft and, and uh, 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 I think that how well we shoot it in large part probably depends on Ochai in many ways because he's going to take the majority of the threes and, and, and the start he got us off on I think, I think it just gave everybody else confidence. We're going midway back on the right side. Let's start with Mike and then we'll take one from Myron. Ochai, uh, Mike DeCorsi from Sporting News. You, you've been a great player all season, but you didn't score as much as you ordinarily do first few rounds of this tournament. Was there anything at all that wasn't working for you early in this, in this tournament that you know, all of a sudden is starting to get back to what you normally do? Um, no, I don't think anything was, was different or anything has changed. Uh, my confidence has still been there. It's just shots are falling now. Um, I've just you know, kept my confidence and my guys have kept me up and um, obviously looked for me on the court. Too, and uh, you know, just just playing unselfish uh, or unselfish, I think, is just the, the biggest thing. We're going to stay in that same area of the room, Myron. Bill, a dec Bill, a decade ago, you had a chance to win your second national championship, and then obviously it was 2018, and then 2020, we never saw that team get this chance. What does this mean for you Monday night? This opportunity. I, th I think it does have some added value to to me and the players because, I, you know, there's no guarantees in this tournament. A lot of times, you know the the favorites don't win, obviously, and so. But in 20, we we, we had a team that was equipped to make a run. Uh, uh, you know, we were so good defensively, and and, and we had enough scoring. I, I thought that was probably as prepared a team to do well in the tournament as any we've had. And and uh, I think that even though we haven't really talked about it like this, but these guys really haven't tasted what the NCAA tournament's all about. Even though we had you know a, a great team in 20, so uh, I, I think there's been added added value put on this one because of what we missed out on in 20. Our next question comes from the front row toward the left side. Thanks. Hey, Bill. Um, just uh, the moment when uh, Villanova closed at six, I think, and uh, that's when David had a rebound and, and you guys worked it back into him. Just how, how much did that matter at that point with them closing fast? And I'll have one other. I, th I think that uh, even though they were the better team, probably the first uh, – 12 minutes of the second half, whatever, I, don't, I don't know exactly what it was, but even though they were better and had momentum, we always seemed to have an answer to kind of stem that momentum. And also, we were pretty fortunate, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 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 Slater had one go in and out that could have cut it to five or four, or something like that. So we were, we were lucky there, but, but uh, uh, that's, what, that's what good players do. They make plays, to, you know, when you're, when you're playing well, you want to extend the momentum, and when you're not playing as well, you got to you got to cut the momentum off, and, and these guys made enough plays where they actually did that. That same microphone, front left, please. Sorry. Um, just how hard was it to keep, keep them sitting the last 602 or whatever it was of the first half? And you guys had a pretty commanding lead, and, and, uh, but I know you wanted to take care of the foul situation. Yeah, it, it wasn't. Uh, I didn't think about putting him back in with the lead, though, like we had. Uh, 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 we went up, we went in, I believe, up 11, and, and, uh, you know, Mitch did fine, but 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 uh, obviously he didn't produce like David was producing. But there was never consideration to put him back in in the first half. Our next question comes from Zoom. Chris Heidel from Baltimore. Go ahead, Chris. Unmuting Chris. Go ahead, Chris. We don't seem to have Chris. Let's go to the second row. David, for you, how, at what point uh, into this game were you feeling that confidence? Obviously, one of your best games of the yeah, season. At what point did you realize that you were hot? Uh, honestly, I want to say start from the very jump of the game. Uh, we always put our uh, hang our hat on defense, and I think that's what really got energy. 
into us. And um, from there, once the first fell and the second fell, I knew I could just kind of dominate the game inside. And uh, it will open up shot opportunities for my teammates. And uh, that way, I know I can get a couple assists and get uh, more baskets for myself. Our next question is on the left side of the room. Uh, Christian, uh, uh, Len Jennings with KNBC. Second half, Villanova kind of coming. What is, it, what is it about this team that you guys were able to kind of hold them off and not, you know, and they cut it with six? But what, what, tell me about what this team's about as far as uh, keeping them at bay. I think just our, our confidence, uh, you know, in everybody. Uh, we, we always, uh, all year, we've been in a lot of these situations. You know, in, in the Big 12, we, we played a lot of games that were really close down the stretch. Um, everybody's pretty confident in each other. And, you know, guys like Dave and Oach had it, had it going today. So we always had an answer, you know. When they came back a little bit, we could throw it inside. We knew Dave was going to get us, um, you know, an easy bucket. Uh, and Oach made big plays. And, you know, everybody was pretty locked in, uh, you know, on the, on the job. Uh, and, you know, we're all pretty bought in. Um, and we know what we want to accomplish. So, uh, so we're all going to buy in and do that. We'll go back to the front row. Christian, um, Ochai does a lot more than score. I, I realize that. But the first few rounds when he wasn't scoring like he usually does. What was he like, you know, but behind the scenes in the locker room? And, and Bill, if you could answer that as well. Uh, you, you would never notice. Uh, he's like, you know, he's, he's humble. Um, he's confident. Um, just the way he carries himself. He doesn't care who scores. He just wants to win. And he knows that um, if we win, that's going to be the best situation for him. Uh, so you would never know how many points Ochai scores in the locker room. He's happy for, happy for everybody. And I would say that, you know, for the, for the whole team. Um, but yeah, Oach is, you know, he's, he's humble and he's, he's confident in what he does. He knows that his shots will fall and obviously um, tonight they fell. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Oach, Oach does a lot to, uh, to help our team win. I mean, the defense he played, he made tonight blocking the three and then getting the run. I mean, that, that was an unreal uh, defense he played. But, but the thing about it is with Oach, sometimes numbers go down, but sometimes uh, players continue to play the right way and not force to try to get numbers. And, 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 and that's Oach. I mean, uh, uh, I've heard many people say he should be more aggressive. Well, the way he was playing was the same way he was playing all year long. And, and he didn't need to change that. Uh, uh, and he hasn't. And so, uh, you know, he's got to take advantage of his opportunities. And, and, and sure, certainly we want him to shoot the ball every time he's got space. But, but uh, I, I, I'm proud of him because he didn't, he didn't feel like he had to uh, because of expectations other people have on him. Front row toward the right. For Ojai and Christian, you weren't with the group, but as the team ran back, everyone was saying one more. Can you walk us through kind of your mindset, I guess, heading into the weekend and even now kind of just post game? Yeah, um, that's just everyone's attitude. Um, even after this game, even after uh, last weekend, the weekend before that, everyone's attitude was, you know, on to the next one, um, not looking too far ahead at, you know, what's going on Monday, but, but just preparing for, for that moment um, and then just being present in it. Christian, same question. Uh, yeah, I said the same thing, but uh, we always talk about uh, in the Elite Eight, we were saying uh, we come to Kansas for big games, but you don't come to Kansas to play in the Elite Eight. Uh, and then we win the Final Four game. We're saying we don't come to Kansas to play in the Final Four. We come to Kansas to win a national championship. Um, and everybody has that mindset. Uh, so that's, that's why everybody's um, saying one more. And that's, that's before the, the tunnel, you know, on the court. That's what everybody's saying is one more. Uh, so everybody's got the same mindset. Final question is going to come from Matt. Uh, Dave. You're a big raise the roof guy, we've noticed. Uh, I wonder where that comes from, and, and I want to know from Christian and Ochai, too, what, what does that do for you guys when you see him uh, doing that? <laughs> Dave first, and then Ochai, then Christian. Didn't that go out in style about six years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Say it every time, but... Uh, I got teed up, I know that, too. You, I definitely would have got teed up. You probably would have, yeah. knowing you. But no, um, I mean, just playing with a, a dunk dominant big uh, doke, I mean, that was his go-to, and then, you know, we always do in the field house, and uh, Jayhawks travel, so I might as well just kind of keep that raising the roof energy going. I don't know what, uh, what like it goes. It. I like it. <laughs> um, it just brings energy, brings energy uh, to everyone. Um, that's just his thing. We'd like to thank Coach Self, David, Christian, and Ochai. Congratulations. We'll see you back here tomorrow for thank some more guys. questions and answers.